So hi guys, so Bentwood Project Part 2 is going to be the fabric. So the fabric that was given to me, is, oh, I, I love it, it's awesome. It reminds me of Native American patterns and it's a very thick, I think it's a felt, it's a very thick fabric which uh, is important to remember on these uh, because these already fit tight, these wood pieces that I can't take any padding over. Even if it was a thin fabric, it would be unwise to take the foam or cotton or anything else other than the wood, other than the fabric going over the wood on these, because uh, that's a big that that's a big thickness. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed on this one. But now we have another problem, not a problem, but a kind of a fun thing is that how do we fit a, a pattern in? What's the best pattern to fit into our bentwood chair, which isn't that big, by the way. So the, the, one of the keys is measuring. And if you guys have watched the film, if you've watched me before, you know that I like to simp. I try to keep it simple for for quick reference when I'm, when I'm at the cutting table, okay? So we have three sections to this. I label, I, I do these little slash marks first, up and down, side to side, and then over here I write um, the description of each one. Seat, inside back, we'll just say IB, and outside back, right? Seems pretty simple, but when you have a, a tuxedo sofa, I wanted to mention this in, in the part one, and you have um, three seats, three backs, six borders, welting, seat, deck, inside arm, inside back, border, outside arm, outside back, skirt front, skirt center, skirt right, skirt left and right, it goes on and on. This page turns into three pages and what's important, it's really important even for small jobs and for big jobs is that how you orientate yourself and make it sure that you have the directions going the right way, it's so important. That's why I try to keep it simple, right? So now you're gonna watch me now measure all this in a very simple way. Another key that people forget is they overcut and give themselves too much to work. That's just as bad as not having enough. So the proper way to do it is to have about an inch and a half on each side where you think it's going to be stapled or stitched. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you now. So it's especially important when you're trying to fit a pattern, right? Because you're not going to, if you cut this six inches bigger than you, than you want it, you're going to get like a false reading for your patterns. And you know, you just, it doesn't work just laying it down. Some people do that, but I'd rather do it with the measurements. It's actually good habits too, you guys. So let's do our front to back on the seat. So okay, at the end of my tape measure, right? Over to here is 22 inches. I'm gonna add three inches to that. I, I put that down here, it's 25. All right guys, 25. Okay, now another tricky part is sometimes you don't have a perfect, always go from the furthest point, you guys. So from the furthest point on this one is near the front of the seat side to side is what I'm talking about. So I'll look. Side to side, we have, we also have 22, which is really unusual to have a square. So 25, we add our three for 25. That's very unusual, having a square. Okay, so we're gonna place this away from here. We have that, put a little check mark there that we have that measured. And now we're gonna go to our inside back. I'm looking for the top, top. Let's do the up and down. Notice how I said up and down, not front to back. It's really important if you're going to be moving ahead on the, in your upholstery uh, career to get the to get the terminology down. I know it sounds simple, but if you're marking everything, if you're marking your seat with the with the top and the bottom, that is going to cause massive problems later on if you have a bigger job. Trust me. So try to get these try to get the terms top and bottom front and back, side to side, always side to side, right? I know I'm trying, I, I know it sounds simple, and it, but it's just good habits, I'm just trying to impound good habits into you guys. So I get 20, 28 plus three, 31. That's, that's for the up and down and the inside back. I'm always repeating myself like that so I don't forget. I don't write it in the wrong measurement. Now look, you guys. So the bottom is a little bit wider than the top, so I'm going to measure side to side on the bottom like so. And we've got uh, 18 plus 3, 21. And then now on the outside back, make sure you got the top, right? Now on the outside back, you can slim it down to 2 inches overall. So that's 25 plus 2 is 27 for the outside back. People might be wondering, why is he slimming it down on, the, on that? Because, because it really doesn't require a lot of stretching. So the inch and a half is, is, it seems to be a perfect amount on each side for the seat. 
uh, and the inside back to hold on to for your stretching, right? So furthest point um, is right here, and I've got 15 plus 2, that's 17. Okay, so now I have all my measurements. Let's just put this over side here. Now I have to figure out, I might use those again, but I have to figure out, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my widest measurement, which is my C, which is 25, which I know is 3 inches oversized. So I'm going to minus the 25, I'm going to go back to 22. I'm going to see if that's 22 inches wide. Do you see what I'm doing, you guys? This first pattern, I love this first pattern right here. I think, by the way, when I pick a pattern, I'm picking the primary one first, and I'm going to see if it works. I'm not looking at anything else. There are three other patterns in here that could work. Um, I'll just point them out to you now. There's this one, there's this one, and there's this one. But I like this one, and I think that that actually is up to you guys. If your customer's giving you free range, you have to figure that out. And you also have to remember, I don't have an unlimited amount of fabric here, too. It's another one of my challenges with this. So you see, what, you see what happens. But I love a challenge, and I can tell already this one's going to be a challenge because of where this ends up uh, on the, in, the, in the fabric. We'll see. So I like this so far for the C. So let's just do this. Let's get a piece of our chalk. Let's get a piece of our chalk. And chalk it 25. So we got 12 and a half. This way is 25 and 25, right? Chalk, this chalk comes out, so don't worry about that. And then 25 this way, right? So we go 12 and a half to the center. And my my there, my chalk is not doing too good today. It keeps on breaking on me. Blaming the chalk, you guys. It's not the guy using the chalk. He's not, not a little heavy handed. No, that's not it. All right. <laughs> so we have our C, okay? Now, uh, let's see how the inside back is going to look with this pattern and if it would be wise to switch patterns. Do you follow me? Um, uh, let's just see it. Let's do this first. Let's just see where, so we have 21 on the inside back side to side. Notice how I'm, I'm gravitating to those side to side measurements more than I am the front to back in the beginning because this chair is oval shaped. Okay, so let's try 21 here. Well, that's not going to work because I don't have enough over here. So that's up. Let's see if we can have another. You see how the, you see the problem we're going to have here, you guys. Look at this. And then the other pattern. Ooh, I'm a little. Oh boy. So that's a problem. The other pattern is the same thing. So we can't use that. We can't use this for the inside back because it's not going to fit. Okay, but let's do something. Else. Let's just see. Let's just see what this measures. This measures, sometimes I do this, you guys. This measures about 17 inches. Let's just see. Go back to this. You can shade a little bit, right? Ooh, guess what? Guess what? I might be able to get that on with hardly any stretching material in the back there. So I'm, I'm thinking about that. I am thinking about that. Uh, let's just measure it again. A little bit of a flange here. So I'm going right to that flange. So that flange is eight. No, this isn't going to work. Because that's, that's eight to that flange. So that means I have 16. So that's not going to work. So forget about that. Wow. So now we're forced to go to I believe a secondary pattern. Ooh. Secondary pattern. Maybe let's just move this over here. Back to there. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. So, 
this is a real brain teaser. So in order to get three of these, what's it going to happen? I could only get one. So I, I, I went to my, let's go to our secondary pattern. And that doesn't work because it's too close to the edge. There's only one I can use there. So that leaves just one more uh, third motif, which is this one. And that, based on the fabric that I have, that's the one I have to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop out all of them and this before I cut, just to see how it's going to look. I think it's going to be fine. <coughs> so this is one of the challenges, you guys, right? So let's use this. This is the center point to this motif, right? And by the way, I think the fabric has one direction, which is this direction, because it's got these diamond shapes. And I really do think that this is the way to run the fabric. So I wasn't going to turn it around. So uh, the seat is 25. So let's go tw 12 and a half. Okay, now I know I'm going to have to slim that down. Okay, I'm going to have to slim that down because I need the next width. Actually, the next width would be si would be 17. So I think I'm okay. So let's go. See how I, I'm reasoning this out, you guys? 12 and a half. So you see in the process of what, what, what it is to fit patterns. Pet patterns are probably the hardest thing to do in upholstery, I think, to fit them, to make them look right. So I got my 25 from my seat, and I'm going to go up my 25. You know, sometimes just to make your life easy, you can put a dot here to indicate the center, just so you, you don't get distracted. And 25 down this way. Take my yardstick. Just chop that right there. So you guys can see what I'm doing here. Chop this down here. Sometimes it's the easy jobs to turn into the odd ones, right? Okay, so there's my seat with my inch and a half on each side to stretch. I don't think that looks bad at all. I, I thought I thought it was gonna this was gonna look uh, chopped up. I don't think it's gonna look chopped up at all because you get this block here. So I think that's fine. Let's just hope that I can get the rest of these out with that in the center. I'm gonna even mark the back of this, always mark the back of this front seat, okay? Before I cut it though, I'm gonna go to the next one, the next one. I know I can get my inside back out of that. I don't know if I can get my outside back up top there. Let's see. So we've got, you know, don't be afraid to mark your center point right there. So the, the inside back is 31, which is 15 and a half. 15 and a half up. I'm gonna go right there and 31 to the bottom. Whoa, it goes right to the very bottom, you guys. How about that? How about that for luck? And next, uh, side to side, 21, 10 and a half. Like a mark up there. <laughs> Look where the 21 ends up here, you guys. Right on the, right on the cut of the, of the seat. Talk about close. I, you know, when I first looked at this fabric, I, I didn't think I was gonna have a problem at all. But then I started to worry a little bit because you don't wanna, you know, I never would put a fabric on crooked or, um, you know, that it doesn't look right. It has to look right. Okay, so this is the inside back. Okay, I'll mark that after I cut it. So now let's see, uh, keep your fingers crossed about the uh, outside, uh, that's the inside back. Let's see what we get for our, uh, our inside back. Oh boy, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it from there, so because that, that's nine inches. I need up and down. Up and down becomes important now, you guys. Up and down, seven, uh, 27. That means 13 and a half. I'm way off there. But let's let's scoot over to the next one over here and see if we can get that. Before I'm excited already because I think I have it. My outside back. Let's see. Okay, so this comes. So let's just mark. Let's make sure this is the center of the outside back. So that is 11 and a half plus 11 and a half is 22. So I'm a little bit off. Let's just make sure we got enough before we go on. 
Okay, it's 25. That's 25. Tw almost 26. 26. And I need 27. Well, guess what? I know I can do that because it's just going to be a little harder to stretch in those areas. You see that? You kind of make, make a little adjustments here as you go. So that's my outside back. Yes, it's a little, it, it's a little lower. I don't think anybody's going to notice it. Uh, I'm going to pay attention to that when I put it on. And I think, I think I did a good job getting three motifs in the center of the chair. So let's cut it. Let's, let's see how this cuts. Um, let's just do our side to side on the outside back, which is 17, which is 17. Let's hope we got it right. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Seven, I can't believe I have it. Eight and a half, it was tricky. Well, so you guys, hopefully you learn a few things. Now imagine if you were doing um, a sectional sofa with this fabric, you want to talk about torture. <laughs> It can be done, but it's a lot of work. You actually, for you professional or semi-professional or journeyman out there who want to be professional, when you're, when you're quoting a job, man, you, you have got to take that into consideration. You know, does it have a motif? Does it have a stripe? That's a little bit harder to do, right? As you can see. Okay, so this is my outside back. I'm going to mark that out OB. Okay, and I'm going to start cutting. My seat. Who is the moment of truth? You got very expensive fabric. Let's hope we don't make a mistake. I'm nervous. I'm gonna slim this one down a little bit to give myself more room on the outside back just a little bit i know you know that inch and a half um, doesn't have to be you can be an inch on that i mean it's a little harder stretch but you know you know our problem let's just let's just uh, see i like to do this sometimes just to see just to make sure we're on the right path here see this is the piece you want to cut this this was a little bit you want to cut this off you don't want to try starting a pollster with that it's just going to be in your way, that little flange piece there. Let's just see what's going on here now. Oh, yeah, I'm going to like that. Let's put that over here. Let's go to our next one, which is the inside back. Oh, I got a little nervous on this. this. This cut was the same cut for my seat and my inside back. I just have to extend it just a little bit up here. And then... Now, got, by the way, guys, I'm sitting down cutting. This is not, not how I usually cut fabric. I'm a little waist high. My table's, my table's slippery. It's a ping pong table. I'm doing this for your benefit. Makes it a little harder for me, but I'd rather show it to you guys what I'm trying to do. Sometimes with the other camera in the other position, it doesn't show as much. So I'm going to go up here. My inside back, that has to be labeled. IB, right? Let's see how that looks. Top. See, I got my top marked and I got my top marked. You see that, guys? I'm just going to lay that over here. Wonderful. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so that, that's that. Now, one last piece, you guys. One last piece, the outside bag. And so, um, I actually, I was telling you, I, I added a little bit more here. Wasn't that smart of me? Now we're going to come up this way. Ooh, moment of truth. This is it. If you mess up now, forget it. Call the customer and apologize. Hope oh, can you get more of that fabric? No. Uh-oh. What do I do now? I'll show you the scraps. These are the scraps. There's nothing really scented at all on these scraps now, right? So I'm just going to throw that over there. I think I already wrote outside back on that. Let's take the piece over here and measure it up to the outside back. Beautiful. You know, as a matter of fact, it fits on the outside back. See, this was a little bit of an issue, you guys. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it down. Look at that. I don't think anybody... That's probably almost perfect uh, scented right there. So, whew, here we go. Let's get on to the next step.